this is Frankie Abrazino with the Scoop News. We're talking about events, and as you know, I put out a communication that the city of Sarasota was having their uh, two separate meetings yesterday. I watched the first one. I didn't catch the last one, um, which was at night until about 9 p.m., but basically in that one, what took up a lot in the meeting was the per permitting of special events located downtown and there's a lot of controversy over that and I've seen the emails where individuals want more say individual condo owners want more say in the events that are out there and some of them like the Revo right now only have one vote in terms of events and permitting versus the 100 individuals that live there and I think all 100 should have say the city right now, the way it's set up, is only one would have a say. And they're saying, so they thought, okay, how about if we do this? If it affects the ingress or egress from the property, then all the condo individual condo owners can vote or condo owners can vote. And that one didn't really uh, make its uh, way through. Um, basically, the large it's the large events. And what brought this on was Thunder on the Bay. And some people are wondering, is this still an issue since Thunder on the Bay has relocated over to Lakewood? Um, that's the main concern there. But the condo owners are wondering, you know, well, that's that one. What if there's more events? Shouldn't this be something that's put down so that we know where we stand instead of being relegated as a condo, instead of a condo that has 100 people being relegated to a one vote um, complex and putting us on the same level as a shop owner that's right there with one vote. So the staff started investigating it. They said they hoped to get somewhere yesterday with some options, but they scrapped it after they found that there was going to be a, there was a lot of conflicting testimony out there. So they're going to investigate it two to three months later and try to see how they can improve it um, without any one party outsizing the others. Because you know those business owners were like, "Wait a second, you give the a uh, hundred people there um, each each one of these kind owners a vote, then they have too much power," and and so it goes. Um, you know, I think two to three months, they'll ask him for that is just the city saying, well, we'll see if we can kick this can down the road and see if, uh, if people aren't as excited about it and it just disappears on us. That's often what you see out of them. It's funny though. I was listening to their city council meeting yesterday and generally sometimes I play in other uh, computers and I'll watch it for some reason. Yes. I was just listening. And their mayor, you could barely understand the guy. He's not barely audible. And the same when the other people speak, they got to do something about that system. It's horrible. Um, but his goes beyond the audio. You just can't understand the guy. I don't know what the hell was going on there. Um, but that's where you stand on the events in Sarasota. Basically, nowhere. They got nowhere. Typical political stuff. We're stuck. Nothing to do. All right, guys. This has been Frankie Abrazino with the Scoop News.